What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome back to part four of the adventures of Cheese Man Slim. No, no, I'm joking. It's Messi and Ronaldo. It's the experiment. You know what's happening. Cheese Man, I know someone would ask in the comments what's been happening with him. He's at Nantes now. Anyway, let's talk about Ronaldo. This is what we're here for. We've gone forward another two years. Of course, if you missed part three in this, we went forward to the age of 35. They're now in the twilight of their careers, Ronaldo and Messi. They're getting on a little bit and uh, well we're gonna see today how they end off their careers now we're in 2038 they've still got seven years left at the clubs but for the next few episodes i don't feel like they're gonna play as much in the first team so we'll go forward i think three seasons after this kind of first two-year recap and then we'll probably go to the end of the careers and call it a day and see what happens and of course uh, right at the very end of this video, we're going to reverse them around, send them into the future and just have a look at how things could have been different if Ronaldo had gone to Kettering and Messi had gone to Hungerford, because I know a lot of you guys asked about it. Anyway, Ronaldo is here. He's 37. And to be honest, his physicals are still really blooming good. Unfortunately for him, his beloved Hungerford town, they're still in League One, but he got 22 goals and 12 assists, which is perhaps him showing a little bit of the signs of his age. You can see here this year he's played 18 times as a striker, 32 times as a left winger, once as a centre mid, and for whatever reason the AI has decided to try and play him at left back, defensive midfield and right mid. I mean, I guess they've got to the James Milner part in his career where they've decided to truly experiment with what he's capable of. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for him, Hungerford Town struggling a little bit, I assume, because they're still in League One. You can see here, Christian Romero is their manager. Messi is still their captain. And actually, looking at things here, he is playing as part of a front three. And he's probably loving life, to be fair. You can see here, 24 goals, 16 assists, 14 player the matches. That's pretty good, unfortunately. They are still in League One. Let's have a look. So last year, they actually finished fourth. Did they lose in the playoffs again? I swear, how many times did Hungerford lose in the playoffs over all these years? They lost in the semi-final to Crew 4-2. So Hungerford spent one year in the championship in this entire experiment. But if we just look at the playoffs through the years, right? So they once in the playoffs, twice in the playoffs, three times in the playoffs... Four times in the playoffs, five times in the playoffs, six times in the playoffs, seven times in the playoffs. Seven times they got to the playoffs. Only once did they get promoted. That is disappointing. When we look to the League One table, um, you can actually you can see their media prediction was second. So that makes the fact they finished ninth even more uninspired. I'm going to assume by the fact Messi isn't showing on the league stats that maybe Kettering are still in the championship. You can see League One here and there is no Kettering here. So if Kettering stayed up for a little while longer, let's take a look. It's the championship. They've not won the playoffs. Messi still does have the highest average ratings and most player of the matches, which he has to absolutely be commended for because every year he's managed it in the championship. And if we look at the league table, where are you Kettering? They finished 12th. They finished 12th, which is not bad at all. Who is their manager? I feel like he deserves as much credit as Messi. It is Antonio Mohamed. I'm not going to pretend to know who this guy is. I'm sure someone is going to tell me that he's the greatest Argentine player ever and how could I not have heard of him? But... um. Yeah, I guess he's, he's got a little link going on with Messi and they're doing quite well. You can see Messi was joint top goal scorer. How many goals was it with? 13 goals. He got 11 assists and 13 player of the matches. Last year, they finished 16th. This year, they finished 12th. So they've actually they've steadied the ship of Kettering. They've started to establish themselves as a championship club. I've noticed, by the way, they have improved their facilities again, which is interesting, or at least... It looks like they've improved their facilities again. I swear they weren't that high before, but then in landmarks, it's not showing. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like that's gone up, but maybe I'm just going crazy. Either way, Messi's done very well. They're still in the championship. His physicals, ah, they're not they're not so good anymore, are they? You can see he's played 42 games as a left midfielder. Kettering haven't considered playing him as a defensive midfielder yet, so I guess he's still got some uh, petrol left in the tank. And uh, if we just look at last year, he got 16 goals and 14 assists. He's actually got a slightly higher average rating this year, but statistically, he's not performed quite as well. And, uh, well, it's actually really impressive. In the last three seasons, there, he's only missed four league games, which is crazy for a player who is 36 years old. You can see his physicals have tailed off a little bit more than Ronaldo's, I think. 
I will put that largely down to his lower natural fitness. Messi is also a tiny bit younger. But yes, you can see the direct comparison here between them both. They're, they're getting on a little bit, aren't they? Uh, interestingly enough, um, we saw this with the Mbappe experiment. Mbappe's dribbling dropped like a stone as he got older. And that's kind of happened with Ronaldo. But Messi's dribbling is actually still quite good. It's still at 16, which I guess I was expecting it to drop a little bit quicker. Although, to be fair, both players compared to Mbappe seem to have done a little bit better in terms of holding on to their physicals, which is interesting. They're both playing regularly, to be fair to them as well. And, uh, well, we're going to end things today. We're going to go forward to now where Messi's 39, Ronaldo is going to be 40. They're going to be, they've still got four years left on their contracts at that point. So who knows what's going to happen. We're going into the distant future now. 2041 feels like sci-fi to me. And uh, well, let's go see what's happening in the future of sci-fi. Has Messi got bionic legs? Has Ronaldo stopped aging? I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, guys, it is 2041 and I have not so good news for Kettering Town fans. You were predicted to finish 11th in the championship. That's right. Three years in a row, they managed to stay in the championship. And, well, this was their eighth season in the championship. But unfortunately, they've been relegated. And they've been relegated by Swansea, pretty much, by three points. And I'm not, I'm not seeing Messi anywhere for the first time ever. I mean, it's to be expected. If we look at Kettering Town's profile, he did get the most play of the matches, which was only six. And I say only six because it's been a bit higher before. 11 assists, 8 goals, but of course he's had 3 other years. They finished 18th and then 11th. But yeah, this year has not been the year. Let's have a look at Messi, shall we? And, I mean, he's played a lot of games still. But he, he scored 10, then he scored 5, then he scored 7. But yeah, the last 3 years he's definitely, definitely declined. His physicals aren't actually as bad as I was, ex was expecting them to be. He's 39 years old now. He's gone through a few managers. He is still captain. He's still loving life. But unfortunately, it's not looking quite so rosy for him. You can see he's really been asked to play a load of different positions as well, including centre mid, interestingly enough. So yes, he's done okay, but Kettering going down to League One. Hungerford, what is happening with you and Ronaldo? Let's take a look. He's at Hungerford still. He's still got 20 natural fitness. His dribbling is now at five. They're in League One still. So, I mean, I assume they've not been relegated or promoted in those years. No. In fact, you can see Ronaldo, debatably, has actually played better than Messi into the twilight years of his career. He got 18 goals and nine assists, then 23 goals and 16 assists. Again, he's not missed many games either, but 23 goals for a player who ended the season age 39 is very, very impressive. And then in this most recent year, they've not played quite as well. He got 12 goals, 8 assists, 7.15 average rating. That is his lowest, I think, ever since the beginning of this experiment. So things haven't been quite so good on him. Has he got staff attributes yet? He hasn't. So we'll ha we'll ha it'll be remain to be seen if either of them go into staff roles. Where are Hungerford Town in the table? They finished 18th. They finished 3rd last year. They finished third, and I guess they lost in the playoffs again. Oh, you have to wonder. If they if, if Hungerford could actually win in the playoffs, they would have been in the championship significantly more times than they were. But yes, they finished 14th, then third. Media prediction of sixth, and unfortunately this year, Ronaldo couldn't produce the goods in the same way. And you'd have to say that's probably cost them in the end. They ended up finishing 18th, which really isn't that far away from the drop. Only three points clear, which is a teeny weeny bit concerning, isn't it? Anyway, you can see here, they've got Mitch Brundle as manager. Where has Ronaldo been playing? He's now natural or accomplished at centre defensive mid. That upsets me a little bit, but I guess you have to do what you've got to do. They've not played him there this year, but you can see he's not really consistently played any one position. He's kind of just filled in wherever necessary. But yes, we've hit that point where neither player is really carrying teams in the same way. They both look like they're on their way down, unfortunately. We've still got four years until their contracts expire. So we'll go forward to 2045, take a look at how they're looking and then just see what happens maybe in the year or two after that. But yeah, their physicals have both declined quite a lot now. It's not looking so rosy. This could be the beginning of the end for our two clubs. Let's go forward four years and hope they're still in the Football League, shall we? 
Okay, guys, so we've gone forward to 2045. I was so worried for Hungerford that I went there first to see how they were doing. And Ronaldo is not their top goal scorer or their top assister, of course. He's, he's going to be leaving very, very soon. He's waited the best part of 26 years for this moment. But yes, they are regrettably in League 2. They finished that 18th place. They then finished 12th, which wasn't too bad. You can see Kettering will come to them in a second. But they finished third in their first season back in League 1 and missed out on the playoffs. Meanwhile, Hungerford showed small signs of improvement. But unfortunately, from there, they got relegated, finishing 22nd. Last year, they finished 5th. And, uh, well, we're going to pretend to act shocked. They lost in the League 2 playoffs. And this most recent year, they were predicted to finish 6th. They finished 8th which is outside of the playoff spots completely. And I'm going to assume that Ronaldo hasn't played a great deal simply because he's just not a top goal scorer or a sister. Let's have a look at things. So mm, the, there's lots of ones there now. Even with 20 natural fitness, age 44, the aging model of Football Magic isn't particularly kind on Ronnie. Um, he can't even jump as well as he used to, bless him. But yes, um, he played 12 games, a start, and nine appearances off the bench. Two goals and two assists. When he did play, they played him at centre mid, left mid, occasionally as a striker. He actually had his best performances at centre or midfield. You can see this year is actually the first year where he's truly fallen off, which might explain why they didn't get in the playoffs this year. Um, but yeah, as, as expected, he has slowed down quite significantly. And, uh, well, things, they're not they're not looking quite as good, are they, for Ronaldo? And for poor little Hungerford, I'm, I'm a little bit fearful this is the beginning of the end. He has still got his move arranged to Juventus, so we might go forward a year or two more, see if they take up staff roles or, you know, what happens um, with Messi and Ronaldo after they leave. But, yes, things for Ronaldo not looking so good. I didn't notice Kettering in League 2 here at a glance. So maybe they've steadied the ship slightly better. Let's have a look at Kettering, shall we? It helps if I it helps if I spell it correctly. They're in the championship. They are in the cha I repeat, they are in the championship, folks. They were predicted to finish 22nd. They finished 17th. So they don't they don't need Messi. They they've used Messi, they've used and abused him. They've used him to get where they needed to. And now they don't need Messi no more. So yes, they finished third place that year. They then finished fifth. And then they came second. So they lost twice in the playoffs. And then finished second. Messi, again, nowhere to be seen. I'm assuming this is going to be a similar story to Ronaldo. Lots and lots of ones. I find it very interesting, by the way, that for some reason long throws along with dribbling are two technicals that seem to be linked to old age. When you hit 40, do you just start suddenly not be able to do throw-ins anymore? I'm not sure. Either way, Messi only played one game this most recent year. He did break 1,000 appearances for Kettering, though, to be fair to him. But yes, four games played, even in the years, you know, when they've been promoted and getting in the playoffs, they've not really used him at all. He fell off a cliff a lot sooner than Ronaldo did in terms of goals, of course. Playing at a slightly higher level... But yeah, for both of them, it's kind of that they're surplus to requirements, it turns out, age 43 and 44. And, uh, well, Kettering and Hungerford are strong independent clubs that don't need no Ballon d'Or winners. Right, we'll go forward a couple of years. I don't know if they're going to retire straight away. I'll see if they become staff. If they don't, we'll look at their final stats as players, their final attributes. They're not going to look, I don't think, too different to this. We'll have a quick look head-to-head. -head, and then to cap off the video... I'm going to holiday forward, and I've not done this yet, so I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to holiday forward with them the other way around, and we'll just see kind of how their careers might have panned out that way around to end today's episode. So yeah, let's go forward, see how they're looking, and uh, have a quick look at things on the whole, shall we? Okay, folks, so we're back again. It's 2047, and I'm really sorry to report Cheese Man Slim. He's, he's left football everywhere. I'm very... He's, I'm devastated. He's gone. Right. I mean, that's that. Let's have a look at Messi and Ronaldo, though, for real. Uh, so, Lionel Messi, he is a fitness coach and unemployed. I have gone further forward, and he didn't get an interesting job for a couple of years. So, I feel like we have to call things there. But interestingly enough, he didn't retire straight away. He, he, he didn't pack it up immediately. He went to Barcelona. They then let him go, and he went to a different club in the depths of non-league Spanish football. I say non-league, I think it's actually the third division. But yes, he played, well, for two clubs over one season and he got an average rating of 
something. Anything below six, I consider bad. Anything below seven is below average for a season. To have that lower an average rating is actually worth crying about, but it is what it is. We can have a quick look at his milestones and his biography here. You can see here Kettering Town legend. I mean, that's what we that's what we care about, really. Um, you can see he, he he never played another appearance with Barcelona. He joined in June, and they they let go of him a month later. He he waited twenty six years for the for the move, and it never happened. You can see here competition wins that he had. I know there's loads of really interesting Barcelona ones here. Are they as interesting as the Kettering Town ones? I'd argue they aren't. You can see 1,006 league appearances, 398 goals, and he lifted the build base FA trophy. That is what dreams are made of, folks. That is what that's what you play football for as a player. What a career. Let's have a look at Ronaldo, shall we, and how he got on. He, he's also an unemployed coach. It's not looking great for their employment prospects. They've worked for the last 26 years on £20 a week for their respective clubs. I can't help but feel like that's not going to look great on your CV when you're applying for other jobs. Interestingly enough, Ronaldo went and played in Serie B for a year and he did slightly better than Messi did in his ventures, you know, having gone back to Spain. In Ronaldo's case, 6.37 average rating. It's better than a 5 point something, I guess, but it's still not great. And, uh, well, if we look at his milestones here, did he play more league games for Hungerford than Messi did? He did. He played about 50 more league games and he got more goals in his 26 years. You can see he lifted the build base trophy as well. So 1-1 one, one in the scoring for the build base trophy. Um, uh, we can actually look at Chippenham Town have won it three years in a row. What league are Chippenham Town in? They're in the Vanarama National League. They're loving life. They're just winning it every year. Um, we have to go. I forget how long we've been doing this experiment for, but yes, Kettering were in it in 2019. Hungerford won it in 2023. I mean, not not bad by either player. And then Ronaldo, did you win anything else? You win the Vanarama National League, the Vanarama North South. I, I think they actually won the same things pretty much, which is a little bit interesting. I think, I think Ronaldo might have won a League Two title, which actually Messi didn't do at Kettering. But either way, they both did pretty well. If we look at Hungerford here, and I assume if we go to general info, um, is he considered a legend? No. He, alongside Charlie Austin, are considered icons. So there you go. You, you didn't do enough to become a legend at Hungerford, who, by the way, two years on, they, they've steadied the ship and they are a strong and stable League 2 club, for those people wondering. Let's have a look at Kettering, shall we? Kettering Town, they finished third in League 1. Did they win the playoffs? Did they win the playoffs? That's that's what everyone cares about. We we won't know what happens to them after this point. Their media prediction was first. They finished third. The game is now completely frozen, which is good. Are we going to be able to load up this looting game that I've clicked on? I really hope the game doesn't crash. But when you go this far into the future, things do slow down quite a lot. And I'm concerned about the fact that nothing is happening. And the game might be broken here. Either way... What we can conclude is that if Messi and Ronaldo went to non-league clubs, they'd both do all right in League One. The championship for Messi might be more, I guess, something he could work with. Of course, he did have Kettering to play with. And I know loads of people left comments saying, Jack, Kettering was better than Hungerford in the beginning. So what we're going to do to end things, because the game has just died on me now and it's not responding, we're going to go into an alternate universe where things were the other way around. Uh, now it loaded. Kettering's ma ref uh, goalkeeper was sent off in the 109th minute and they won on a penalty shootout. That's quite a good way, I feel like, to win a penalty shootout to get promoted. That's mental. Who was in goal for the for the shootout? That's what I want to know. That's what I mean, that's what everyone wants to know. Either way, well done, Kettering. Back in the championship, you did quite well. Had the upper hand on Hungerford. And, uh, well, as requested, alternate universe time. I don't know how I make a transition to an alternate universe, but let's go forward and see what happened. We're not going to go into a load of detail, but I know people will want to know what could have been. And, uh, well, let's go see it. Okay, guys, so we are here in the alternate universe. I have done the exact same experiment with the players reversed. This took about two days to holiday through, so if you have enjoyed this video, do let me know by leaving a like. <laughs> this has been more effort than it was probably worth, but people wanted to see it. I want to show you it. So Messi at Hungerford here, aged 43. We're not going to go into a load of detail, obviously, but for the bulk of his career, 
League One and the Championship is where they have been. They got pretty much, you know, quite quick promotions. They didn't go straight up. Although, unlike in the Ronaldo instance, where they were stuck in the Vanarama National South for a while, they got stuck in the National League. But from there, they got to League One, had a few years in the Championship Hungerford. Um, we can have a look at their profile here. And uh, they finished as high as 12th in the Championship with Lionel Messi leading the way. And uh, yeah, if you were wondering, he did become their captain after all. I guess if we look at milestones here, do I want to look at milestones? I want to see his career appearances, see if he got more appearances or not. But because I've holidayed about 25 years into the future, I think I might have just frozen the game. You can see when, when you go this far into the future, Football Manager starts to get a little unhappy with what you're doing. Um, but he made 1,041 appearances and got 430 goals. So yeah, he got slightly more goals in this instance. And, uh, well, let's look for Kettering Town, shall we? Where are they going to be? Are they going to be in League One? Um, I'm going to hope that they're not, and they're maybe a little bit higher, because then we'd be able to tell that Kettering are perhaps the better team for this experiment, although I still find it quite interesting seeing how everyone gets on. So, Kettering, are you here? Yes, you are. You finished 17th. Ronaldo not appearing anywhere, although, again, he's a little bit past his best in this universe. And uh, while looking at things here, wow, he played in the Premier League for a year. Now, they got relegated, and actually, it looks like they've been in the Championship forever. So they got promoted straight up to the Championship Kettering with Ronaldo playing for them. He was getting a hell of a lot of goals, and then they've just been in the Championship for all but one year. Is it weird to say that I'm almost slightly relieved that this isn't what happened in our actual experiment? You can see here, in the last 20 years, they've spent 19 seasons in the championship. They finished third on one occasion, sixth on another. But besides that, they finished outside of the playoffs, I think, just about every year. Looks like they made the playoffs three years and, well, no, two years and won automatic promotion once. And, uh, well, if we look at Ronaldo here, his milestones... Um, we'll have a look at his biography at Kettering. 973 appearances, 601 goals. So there you go. If it had been the other way around, maybe Ronaldo would have done better. I know a lot of people have been asking and telling me, Jack, you should do it with both of them at the same club. Is that something that people would like to see? It would probably be a video or two to do that, but I'm more than open to that idea. Or maybe we try some other stuff. I've got plenty of other ideas for stuff that I would like to do. I would like to... Um, see how a really kind of world-class goalkeeper can make a difference in this kind of instance. I'm kind of tempted to make a perfect defender, a perfect midfielder, a perfect striker and a perfect goalkeeper. You know, basically give eight, four different teams those players and see which team does the best. That would probably be just one long video where we look back at the end of it and see what happened. If that's something that interests you, do let me know. But besides that, we've got loads of other real-life experiments. And as I mentioned not too long ago, at this weekend, we are going to have Real Madrid and Barcelona in the Premier League, which I am very, very excited about. But anyway, guys, that wraps up everything from me today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you are new here and you've got to the end of this video, do drop a subscription. It lets me know that you're enjoying the videos. Drop a like as well um, if you enjoyed this and the hard work that me and my PC, God bless my PC, having to go through so many years in Football Manager, have gone through for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you again soon. I've rambled for long enough. From me, Ronaldo Messi, and Cheeseman Slim, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.